FG Gideon's flight coming to you guys uh, from the cemetery. Hey guys, true story. I want to tell you about. Uh, there was a, this. There was a time when Yahweh, you know, some of you call him by the title God, but his name is Yahweh. But there was a, a time when Yahweh became angry with a nation of people, and because of his anger, he had the king of this particular nation take and go out and do something that was totally against a commandment that Yahweh had given this king. In this instance, the king went out and he counted all of his men of war. And in counting his men of war, it was, truly was an act that he was showing that he did not believe or trust that Yahweh would always be with the people, always be with them, and that any enemy that came against them, they would be able to conquer that enemy. In essence, no weapon formed against them would be able to prosper. But this king, because Yahweh influenced him, went out and he counted all the people. At least he had his general go out and count all of the soldiers. Sorry. Turned out he had 1.3 million soldiers to go to war. The general came back to this king and said, King, why are you doing this? You know, you know that this is going to get us in a lot of trouble. We're going to lose the favor of both Yahweh and we're going to lose the favor of men. But the king insisted and so he continued on with his process. And then later, the man of Yahweh, in this case, these would have been called prophets, priests, uh, reverence, people, men of renown, men who understood and had knowledge and who interacted with the Most High. And let me say this to you. If you don't have someone who loves Yahweh in your life, not just yourself, but a teacher, an inspirational, a spiritual leader, not an inspirational leader, but a spiritual leader to help you to better understand what Yahweh may be saying to you, what Yahweh may be saying to your family, then get one. It's extremely important, okay? But this has to be someone who's well versed in the word and someone that you know based off of your interactions and watching this person's interactions with others that they truly love Yahweh. That's important. Can you continue on with the story? And so after he, this king had counted the people, counted the soldiers, Yahweh sent the man of Yahweh to him and told him, because you have sinned against me by counting the people, counting your soldiers, I give you three choices. There are going to be some consequences for your behavior. You have three choices. First, I can have your enemies chase you for three months. Chase mean that he would be getting, or the people would be getting beat down by the enemy. Second choice I give to you, that you can have hunger for three months. No food, no rain, no provisions. In essence, there will be drought, there will be famine in the land. The third choice, you can have disease for three days. Okay, the other two were three months. You can have disease for three days. And many of your people will die. And this king was a righteous man. Or I won't say he was a righteous man. This man was considered um, a man after Yahweh's own heart. I'll say it that way, okay? And so he said, well, I, I don't want to make a decision on my own to cause harm to the people. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let Yahweh's judgment be our judgment. In essence, he chose disease. And so for, for three days, diseases destroyed 70,000 people of this man's country and this was all because Yahweh was upset not so much with the man who was in charge as much as he was with the people who the man was leading and in this instance these were the chosen people of Yahweh okay now you can read this story 2nd Samuel chapter 24 okay so read it okay it's a great story and gives some good insight now let me take from a, figurative, from a figurative standpoint and break this story down for you. All right? In America, when you see someone like Donald Trump and you see some of the decisions that Donald Trump makes, 
it's very easy to look at Donald Trump and say, you know what, this man is just wicked. This man is an evil man. And never for one second think, did Yahweh give us Donald Trump because of our behavior as Americans? Again, did Yahweh give us Donald Trump because of our behavior as Americans? A nation that was supposed to be founded on the principles of, you know, using that word, the G-O-D word, all right? Yahweh, what we, what we should have said, but we use the word God. And if you follow my videos, you know, first of all, God is a title, and the creator name is Yahweh, not title. You can call me a man, but if you want my attention, you better say Francis, or, I'm sorry, Squanto or Dale. Other than that, I may not know who you're talking about. Let me get back to the story. So maybe Donald Trump and his behavior is Yahweh's judgment to us as Americans. Now, I know some of you guys might not like that. And it doesn't matter if you like it or not, because it's not your decision. It's not up for your, you know, it's not, it's not up for vote. Yahweh could very well be looking at America and America's behavior. And you may ask me, what is America's behavior? Well, our tolerance for things that we should have never tolerated. Can I give you a few examples? Taking prayer out of school was a big mistake. It wasn't about forcing religion down children's throat. It was, it was, a, it was a program instituted for them to understand that they were, there were moral values that, that would make society, make the country a better place to live in. We didn't always follow those values, but that didn't mean we should have thrown the values out you know, as the old saying, throwing the baby out with the bathwater. That was important. You know, I will look the other way when it comes down to war. Our tolerance for what happened in Iraq. Our tolerance of what happened in Afghanistan. Our tolerance for what happened in uh, Syria and etc. And what do I mean by our tolerance? Our tolerance in terms of there should have been massive protests about why are we there and why are we allowing our massive military, our million man army, even though we don't have a million man army, to go out and declare war on other nations who quite frankly have not attacked the United States. We tolerated it. We accepted it. We looked the other way. I don't know if you've noticed, you can turn on the television station and you can see the um, conflict that's going on between Israel and Palestine on television. You notice you don't see anything with American soldiers, any happenings going on with American soldiers in Iraq, anything with American soldiers going on in Afghanistan, anything going with American soldiers in Syria and other places around the world. Why are we not seeing this on television? Is it because the media out of sight, out of mind? Because it does not want our voice it does not want our protest so instead of us seeing with our soldiers our sons I have a son in the military okay all three served the one currently serving is it because they don't want us to see what's going on with our children what our children may be involved in the danger that our children could be in the the the, the stress that our children could be under the 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 the, the harm that our children will have to live with for the rest of their life because of being exposed to killing and seeing death all around them? Who's to say? But it's, we should think it very strange that we don't see anything in the media reflecting American soldiers abroad and the conflicts that they're dealing with. And then last, as it looks at, could Donald Trump be judgment for us? You know, is it why Donald Trump has put tariffs on all of these countries that's causing loss of jobs in America, causing inflation in America? Is it, could it be why we're dealing with these massive wild, wildfires that are going on in California? Could that be judgment? Could it be these hurricanes that we've had over the last several years, massive hurricanes, massive destruction, unlike hurricanes before, at least consistent ones, Could it be, you know, the racial tension that's going on in America? The anger between the races that's going on in America? Could it be 
the 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 dis the the, the um the disenchantment of others, you know, that's causing the immigration, you know, challenge that we're confronted with. Could it be judgment of Yahweh because of the divisiveness that we're seeing right now in our national government? A government is so fixated on winning that they're willing to do anything to get the power. Yet a government that fails to represent us in the things that matter most to us. And last, could it be, you know, uh, us all being terrorized by constantly hearing war on terror? Terror, terror, everywhere we look, terror, that's a bomb, that's a bomb, somebody wants to kill, somebody wants to shoot. Could it be these mass killings, terror, terrorism? All of these things, guys, could be Yahweh's judgment. And again, I'm not saying this because I want to anger you. I'm not saying this because, you know, I, I want, I don't know, be contentious. I'm telling you this because it's something that we need to think about, especially if you're a believer. Go back and read 2 Samuel chapter 24 and read it for yourself, verses from 1 to 15. And you're going to see this exact story and you're going to see a king. Who wasn't necessarily, now I'm not saying Donald Trump is not a bad guy. I'm not saying that he's a good guy. I don't have an opinion about Donald Trump. I mean, some of the things he does amazes me in terms of ridiculousness. And some of the things he does in terms of being pro-America, I'm not offended by. Okay? So this is not anti-Trump, at least not for me. It could be for others. That's, hey, if you chose him, man, you should support him. But that being said, could all of these things that we're dealing with be Yahweh's way of getting our attention and telling us as American citizens that if we don't turn our back and, and turn our faces back to values, turn our faces back to, I'm going to just say it straight out, the most high, more of this to come and even worse. 70,000 people in three days were a lot of people to die. But it could have been millions if war had been declared, a famine had been declared. We don't have to have that as our future as Americans. But we better speak up. We better discuss these things openly. We better be transparent. And at the end of the day, we need to walk away from unrighteousness and evil. We need to walk away from murder and slaughter. We need to demand that our children come home, protect these borders only when it's necessary against aggressors. And we need to stop the rhetoric around terrorism, terror about race, terror about gender, terror about the economy, terror about, terror about neighborhoods. And I can go on and on and on, but I won't. So guys, yeah, it's a rant, but guys, this is truth. And if nobody else is going to say it, then let me say it. But more importantly, let us understand that we, we very well as a nation to be in the place of judgment. And if we don't come to our senses very soon, this could turn out very, very bad. Thanks for listening, guys. DFG, Gideon's Flight, love you guys. Oh, another thing too, these weather conditions. I'm in New England. It is November 21st and it is freezing up here. That's not usual, guys, okay? So even weather patterns, okay? Think about it. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Now you know. Goodbye, guys.